Hi, this video is about how to create Java mapping. Let's install NetWeaver Developer Studio. Install SAP JVM6 as it is a prerequisite. After installation, this folder will be created. Now, let's download NWDS. After download, unzip it. Open NWDS. Point it to SAP JVM6. JVM path will be reflected in INI file. Open NWDS again. Create a Java project. Set SAP JVM Add PI Java Mapping Library. Create a Java class. Let's take a sample Java mapping. This Java mapping copies input to output and then prefix this line to the output. Save it. Export it as a jar file. Export it to desktop. Export class file 
and Java file. Now import the jar file into ESR. Open any operational mapping. This operational mapping has message mapping. It's a simple one to one mapping. Now replace message mapping with. Java class. The prefix line is added to the output. Let's take non XML input. This is a text file. Again, prefix line is added to output. As you can see, Java mapping can handle non XML input, but message mapping and XSLT cannot handle non XML inputs. Let's take another example. Whenever ampersand is present in data in an XML, it should be escaped. This is a well formed XML. This is not a well formed XML. This XML will fail in message mapping with an error XML not well formed. To handle it, we will replace ampersand with ampersand amp semicolon. Save it, export it. Import it again into ESR. Save it. Let's give not well formed XML as an input. Now this XML is well formed. If we want to handle transformations, then we can have a message mapping after this Java mapping. To handle XML inputs, we can use parsers like DOM, SAC, or other parsers which are provided by Java API for XML processing. Thank you for your time.